hey, hey, it's project day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Today we're gonna go about improving our solar system. Currently we've got 1200 watts and not solely because of the Starlink, but partially because of the Starlink, we need to up our solar input. We were kind of barely scraping by with the 1200 watts we have even before the Starlink. But now with the Starlink, we're like, having to run the generator here and there like every other day or so. We've got six 100 watt panels to up our input from 1200 watts to the eight to 1800 watts and our roof is basically gonna be packed. We're not really gonna have any room for more panels. I hope you did your math right and that they do actually fit. Yeah, these are the same panels we put on before. They're a little bit newer version, so I hope they still com are compatible. Eh, gonna... It'll be fine. We're gonna go he worries ahead. too much. We really don't have to do much for, I mean, we have to wire them in, but we don't really have to modify the wiring that's there at all. I just have to add a couple splitters. We have two charge controllers. Right now we have two strings of three on each charge controller. And basically we're gonna run three strings of three on each charge controller. With this, we should be pretty much maxing out our charge controllers. So if we ever need to go bigger, we can't. Well, between that and there's no more room on our roof yeah, either. So, so. <laughs> we're we, stuck, we're maxed. If we ever need to go bigger, it's gonna be another charge controller and ground panels probably, <laughs> but let's get to it. So now that we got the, all the hardware stuff figured out, now we gotta get creative on how to get them from here to up there. So how good did I do at guessing where they were going? Pretty good. So these are gonna go there, that one's gonna go there. Not sure what we're gonna do back there yet. Right. So I think we finally got the layout of the panels figured out. It's gonna be three up front and three in the back. It took a minute to figure out how we wanted it so we can still access the slides and the new ones aren't gonna be shaded by the air conditioners and stuff like that. And now I think we're finally ready to start wiring it in, screwing them into the roof, all that fun stuff. Okay, so what's the first step? Plugging these in, figuring out where we're gonna use the splitters and how we're going to run the wires so those two are going to get connected to each other and they're going to connect to this one and then and then they're going to run along here and here and they're going to meet and then they're going to go into this run right here and then that'll be our first set of three Connection done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the additional six panels wired in. And now we're up to 1800 watts. We're about to go turn it on and make sure it works. Dramatic switch flip. Well, nothing's smoking or on fire. So, <laughs> say that's you good. Trust me, do you? <laughs> we started this at about noon, like peak sun, and we were getting like 850 watts and like total network power and now we're pulling in looks like about 920 950 watts and it's about four o'clock now so the sun is farther down so we're not going to get peak so considering it's four hours later and we're getting another 100 150 watts and we were it's an improvement i'll take it now all there is to do is go back up there and screw them down it's that simple Easy button. Done. Now I can't see shit because of the sun. We finally finished up our solar. Ta-da! It's now, if we're lacking on one thing, it's batteries. We still have four uh, 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So our batteries are charged by like 10 a.m. Pretty awesome. Now when they get full that early in the day, we like flip the fridge on to electric or something just to kind of not waste the power. Or have an air conditioner running for a couple hours. So we're pretty, pretty well set up for off-grid now. 
Make sure you go check out our other video when we first did our solar install, which is much more in-depth than this one.